Hey guys, what's going on? Gameface here. So tomorrow is competition paintball day. Uh, we are playing the SARPL 3 man. Uh, I think we're in like division 4 or 5, somewhere around there, right at the bottom. But I wanted to show you my loadout and everything I take with. Most of it is just budget stuff because I just wanted to get into the sport and just get playing. So not the most the most high tech equipment, but it works, um, competition legal, and that's all that matters. I'm able to get on the field and shoot some faces. So pretty much first off is the marker itself. I'm using the Azoden Blitz Evo, and I, I love this thing. I haven't had any issues with it besides last event <laughs> where the settings were wrong on the board. So I was shooting uh, not the right settings technically. Um, and I wasn't able to use my gun for that event we had to swap out with other guys and it was a big mess up but that's not the gun's fault that's whoever had the gun lost so it was straight from the factory supposedly and the settings were wrong so I took it through to paintball shop in Centurion and they set it up perfectly and yeah hopefully tomorrow <laughs> she'll be able to use it um, but yeah that's the first any issue I've had nothing mechanically wrong w w with it um, yeah, I got the little tank extender here because I'm quite tall so when the gun's up here it feels a bit close to my face and my head keeps hitting the, the hopper so I got this little thing and it makes a huge difference, it's crazy. Next up is my tank. It's not the greatest tank, uh, it's a fiber wrap but it's probably the heaviest fiber wrap I've ever seen. Um, I can't remember the name now and I couldn't be bothered to take this cover off because it's really hard to get on it's a really tight fit but yeah it is has been hydroed so it is legal and I have the paperwork to take with the field to the field with me and yeah so it's pretty nice it's a bit longer than a steel tank which is great gets it a little bit further away from, from my face and the grip on these are amazing I don't know if you can see there this is just all just rubber and I, 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 lo I love it just just a bit heavy but that's fine Next we have the Die Rota LTR. This is the lowest spec Die Rota. It's pretty much the Die Rota one. They've taken sort of like the badging off. You can see there it's just sort of just milled in. Um, there's no windows on the shell. Very basic hopper, but it feeds great. Uh, I've only had one or two jams, but I've had this for a few months now and really put it through its fat paces. Just recently got the speed feed, so that's real great. Instead of taking the lid off, putting your pod in there, this is, you just pop the pod, jam it in there, done. Then the mask. I've had this thing for years, um, probably six, six or seven years now. It hasn't failed me yet. This foam's getting a bit a bit crappy um, and then I got a different uh, head strap here because the other one is starting to lose its stretchiness you pull it and it just sort of you know doesn't bounce back so I got that and yeah that's pretty much perfect now you also have to have a chin strap now and when I bought this mask that wasn't necessary and that's been lost a long time ago so this is actually made from a dog's like lead um, with the dog collar clips but it works uh, it doesn't fall off my face and it's blue so that's pretty cool next we have the soccer boots I'd like to play in indoor soccer boots these are actually I think hockey boots because the the normal boots with this with the blade studs walking around all day in those really uncomfortable because you're not on grass the whole time sometimes you're on bricks or concrete and wearing it for like 10 hours straight is really uncomfortable. These just feel like a pair of shoes that have grip on, so that's that's awesome. I also play in a pair of gloves. Um, fingerless gloves, just the thumb. I don't know why, but I, I, I don't like the feeling of playing without gloves. It makes me feel really uncomfortable. And this just gives me a little bit more confidence, I guess, and that's awesome. I also wear really old uh, Empire uh, arm pads. Uh, these fit me fine. They're also really old. They were second hand even. But they're really comfortable. 
Also, my pot pack. This is actually new. This is a die. What is it? Jet pack. This is a three, three point four. So it holds three pods, and then you can put four more elsewhere. Because you're only allowed to use two pods now, there's no point in having a giant pod pack. I used to have a, uh, I think it was like a five by eight or something ridiculous. But that's when you could shoot a ton of paint and not worry about it. Now there's just no point. And that thing is ridiculously light. You don't even feel the pods on your back. I like to use the yellow pods because no one else plays with these and you can find them very quickly after your game, which is nice. To go with the mask, always in your pocket you must carry a microfiber cloth because you get shot there, you can just quickly clean it off in between points and that is fantastic. Socks. I like to wear long socks because I find with short socks grass and dirt get in your get in the socks and that's really irritating when you're out there the whole day. So I wear long socks and it's comfortable as hell. I also play in a beanie. Uh, I used to wear like a head wrap and like a head strap but that just got really uncomfortable and really hot after a while as well so I bought a cheap beanie uh, don't be fooled by the brand this is a fake it works well tomorrow I'm also taking this camera I'm recording this with I'm gonna vlog a little bit I'm also gonna take this GoPro Hero to put on my mask you see that it's got the holders for a GoPro so I can record some of the gameplay that could be a pretty cool video so this is my player's jersey, I uh, play for the 456 Killers, I actually did the logo as well, see it there, and then my name and number on the back, Brad187, so that's pretty cool from Die as well, uh, printed in America as well which is pretty cool, and then my old faithful paintball pants, these are JT's, these are ancient as well, but they're really good quality that they, they, they look brand new um, what I like about these is the built-in padding for the knees I don't like to play in uh, knee pads they I feel like they sort of restrict my movement I don't like it so those built-in I can just put them on and play I suppose the last thing I want to mention is the batteries that I use I don't like the paintball brand batteries I feel that they're actually really low quality and they don't last as long as say these Energizer rechargeable batteries and I think these are cheaper as well I also so this is this is for the gun itself then I have three for the hopper and before every tournament I recharge them overnight never had any issues with batteries I see every time we play there's someone with battery issues I just charge these up 100% so yeah that's a look at my kit I'm using this in 2017, I've been using it all year and pretty much once I got settled with all the stuff I haven't really bought anything else. Um, I don't think anything needs upgrading, everything works fine and I know a lot of people when they get into it they want to buy the most expensive equipment but I just don't think it's necessary. This gun is a quarter of the price everyone else's gun on the team okay last time last event I couldn't use it because of a say a software issue but that's since been fixed and I'm, I'm happy with it so yeah that's gonna wrap it up guys um, I think I'll, I'm gonna upload a separate video for the actual game day and I hope you enjoy it see you guys later